What's up guys, Dr. Singer here with SNS Smithing. Today we got a special project for you. Going on, let's talk about it. Alright guys, so today's project we're going to do is, uh, if you remember the last video I put up, it was talking and showing off the generator and just giving up updates about what's going on in the shop. And so, part of the generator thing is to run the shop off the generator and also so I can start doing mobile welding. So. Uh, I got to make an adapter cord that can fit my regular 220 welding plugs that my machines run off of to a uh, four prong 50 amp plug that's on the generator. So we're going to make an, adapt an adapter cord now to fit that and be able to run the welders and machines like that off of the generator. So uh, before we get into it, I just want to start off and say do not try this. If you're going to do this, try to buy one that's pre-made or go to an electrician or somebody like that. I'm not a licensed electrician, so I don't recommend anybody do this, but I just figured I'd put it up as an interesting thing for you guys to watch and maybe think about in the future for things if you need an accord that possible to get one made. All right, so let's get into it. All right, guys, so this here is the style plug that my machines take or plug into. And then this is the style plug that the generator accepts. So we just have to take this and wire it into our outlet here. So let's get started on doing that. I'll show you what all the wires are and everything and we'll get into hooking it up. Okay, so the first big challenge when it comes to hooking up these outlets and making these adapter cords is the different number of wires here. We only have three in this style, the same as kind of like a, a regular outlet, just different wires in it, and this one has four, so usually you would only have these three in like a typical outlet, or these three for a 220. So what these are is the green is your ground, typically, red and black are your hot wires, and your white is your common or uh, neutral, depending on however you want to call that. And for a regular outlet, you'd have the green hookup for a for your ground, black on the brass, and then white on the gold. And what happens here is these two wires here, the red and the black, both carry one leg of 110 to your outlet. So if you have both of these hooked up into the outlet where your prongs go, each one's giving it 110, which makes the 220 or 240 volts, depending on how your outlets run. The white is the neutral, so if you just want 110, you'd have either one of these hooked up with just one of these and the ground. And then, so you'd get your 110 from this side, this would help complete the circuit, and then this grounds out the whole thing. So for what we need on this is we need to hook in our red for the 110 on the one side, the black for the 110 on the other side, and then our ground to ground it all out. And then we just have to drop out our common wire here. So what we'll do is we'll cut this and uh, tape it up and make it safe so that way it's out of the way. We won't use it and then we'll just hook up these three here. So. Let's get started on doing all of that. So let's just get started here. We're going to go ahead and trim off our uh, common wire here just so that way we can get it out of the way. And we can tape it off. Covers there. Grab our tape here. like that. Pinch that off. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put some shrink hose on there for another layer of protection. 
so this doesn't have to worry about touching anything. Now that works, you just slide it on and take some heat to it and it'll shrink up to the wire size. Once that's all done, we can go ahead and make sure everything's form fit. Then we're just going to fold it over on itself and then tape it the rest of the way up with more electrical tape so that way it's out of the way. And then it's still pretty long, so if we want to reuse this cable for something else, we can. So, there we go. Our commons out of the way all taken care of in a safe way so we just tuck that back in there and then now we just got to pair our outlet here so I just got to take off our little wire clamp on the back here so we can slide in our leads and then trim everything up to fit into the actual outlet So this just slide into here like so. There we go. Works everything in. So now we just gotta go ahead and trim off our lead cables here. Cut off these lugs because we're not going to use them. Alright, so all these are about roughly to the right length we need to hook into all of our little spots there. So the red and the black go on either side, and then the green goes with the ground, which is the round peg. So we got red, black, green, so hot, hot, ground. So I'll just strip off these couple wires here, and then put them in and put everything together and it's done.
There we go. Okay. As you can see, so we'll just slide in our ground in here on the bottom one. And so how these work, once you get the screw loosened up so much, you can just pull the pull little pin over. It opens up. I don't know. Like, yeah, you should be able to see that right. And it opens up right there, so you can slide the cord in, and then you just drop in the wire there. And that should be all you need to do. Sure these are all pretty tight because if not over time they could wiggle loose or just from getting things plugged into them or the power coursing through them sometimes can make stuff come loose over time like welding leads do that so just make sure you tighten everything down it's pretty good not too much you don't want to crack the plastic housing that everything's in but you know Snug it up enough, you know nothing's going to come out. So, there we go. Red, black, so hot, hot, and then ground down here in the middle. And then here is our common ground taped off out of the way. So, next thing we got to do here is just put our plastic housing back on uh, over here. Which all that secures that on is just the one screw. So we just slip this back over like that, and then we tighten our screw back in. Alright, so that's secure. Now to make sure our wire's not moving around or pulling out, we're just going to go ahead and put in our wire clamp down here on this back end here. The one that we took off in the beginning. Hopefully these screws are going to be... It's going to be a bit of a pain to put on. Oh, that one's in on that side. Make sure you got them both just barely threaded in. So that way you can close them down evenly and you don't have one side too high so you can't thread in the other side. Right like that. So we go and then we're just going to crank her down nice and tight. So that way we know our wires aren't getting pulled out or going anywhere.
All right. So here we go. There's our plug on that end that we put on. And then here is our four prong adapter. And then the name of each of these outlets. This is a, was it a 1450p? And this one is a uh, 650p? Yeah. So this is your standard, like, uh, Welding outlet, I know uh, Miller's a big one for them. The Everlast machines use them, and Lincoln. Uh, Vulcans do. This is generally for an American-style plug, at least for the 220, 240-volt machines. And if you're curious how to make a adapter if you're running off your dry, it's the same very basic principle because they use four prongs plugs like these. It's just a different uh, head setup, so you'd use the three out of the four wires you need and then you just make sure that other wire is safe and out of the way and won't make any contact with anything and there you go that's how you make a welding adapter all right guys Tucker Singer here with SS Mythic signing off hope you guys enjoyed this uh leave a like uh comment down below tell me what you thought if you've done similar things like this before if it's something you'd be interested in doing again I don't recommend you make your own thing if you don't have any idea about uh how electric currents go and if you hook something up wrong something's going to go very bad it's dangerous you could get hurt start a fire all kinds of stuff so i don't recommend you doing this if you want to try to get an adapter like this maybe you get a hold of an electrician and they could make you one or you could probably track one down and buy it but you'd have to wait for it to ship and i just wanted to pick up the parts and get this done so all right guys thanks like share comment and subscribe remember guys forward your fate till next time Bye.